everybody. Welcome to Niobe Zoo's Carousel. We're getting it ready to go for spring and uh, our opening day. So in the meantime, we're going to read a book for you guys called Nature Recycles, How About You by Michelle Lord. The decorator sea urchin lives in the Atlantic Ocean. The water is warm, but he covers it up. Urchin wears colorful algae, rocks, or coral. He wears ocean refuse like old oyster shells. These coverings protect him from rough waves and from the sun's strong rays. The decorations might even help the urchin hide from predators. He looks ready for a party dressed in his recycled green and pink outfit. Urchin recycles, how about you? The hermit crab cannot grow his own shell. He finds a sea snail shell in the sand. He makes it his new home. The shell protects his soft body from predators. When he outgrows it, he will search for a larger home. Herbert Crab helps keep the earth beautiful too. He cleans the shore by eating rotting ocean debris. The beach would be a mess without this super cool crab. Crabs recycle, how about you? Tea Kettle, Tea Kettle, the Carolina Wren sings. In April, the female lays five eggs in dad's old boot. The wren and her mate gathered twigs, spiderwebs, leaves, trash, and snakeskin. They built a cozy nest from these discarded materials. They used feathers and dog hair too. This made a warm bed for their eggs. Wren recycles, how about you? Yep, yep, yep. In the hot Sonoran desert, an elf owl searches for a place to nest. Her yellow eyes spot an old woodpecker hole in the hundred-year-old saguaro cactus. She reuses this abandoned hole. This recycled hollow is a safe home for her and her three chicks. Aww. Owl recycles, how about you? A veined octopus lives in the Indian Ocean. He explores the ocean floor. Octopus finds empty coconut halves. He carries the coconut halves for later use. Poof! When the octopus senses trouble, he claps the coconut together and hides inside. Octopus recycles. How about you? Splash smash! Waves crash around the Galapagos Islands up in the branches. The woodpecker finch's short tongue cannot reach his food. This bird uses a discarded cactus spine. The spine was a perch, but now it is a tool that can be used again and again. He holds the tool in his beak. He plucks out a juicy grub. Yum o oh, dinner time. Finch recycles. How about you? The strong smell of manure fills the air. A shiny dung beetle rolls rhino poop into a ball. The beetle eats the waste of grass eating animals. It uses the waste in its burrow to feed its hatchlings. The beetle reduces the amount of dung in grasslands. By returning the nutrients to the soil, this recycling process is good for the earth. Beetle recycles, how about you? Sizzle scorch, a huge tower bakes on the hot savanna. Sand and dead plants are turned into a new nest by some mound building termites. When they abandon their mounds, snakes, birds, or mammals move in. These animals recycle the mound too. They use it as a shelter of their own. Termites recycle, how about you? Water rushes down the stream, whoosh. Here, a caddis fly larva builds a case around itself. Instead of brick or log walls, it recycles small pebbles, sand, or other discarded river items. Homemade glue sticks it all together. The larva's little stone house protects it from hungry trout. Larva helps keep the river clean too. It eats dead leaves and debris. Somebody has to. Larva recycles, how about you? Drip, drip, drop. Deep in the rainforest, a bromeliad plant fills with rain. The poison dart frog carries his babies on his back. He looks for a home for his tadpoles. He drops each tadpole into its own water-filled bromeliad leaf or even a Brazil nut pod tossed out by a blue and gold macaw. The tiny father feeds them until they grow into froglets. Frog reuses leaves and nut pods as cradles for his young. There's this little young right there. Frog recycles, how about you? 
buzz. Pesky flies nip at an Asian elephant's wrinkled hide. Her ears are not big enough to swish so many flies away. She grabs a banana leaf from the forest floor. Swish, swoosh. Asian elephants reuse, reuses the fallen leaf. She waves the flies away. Then she uses leaf in a new way. Lunch. She devours it in just a few bites. Right here and here. Elephant recycles. How about you? Plants and animals need water to live. The sun heats rivers, lakes, and oceans. Water turns to vapor. Vapor cools and forms clouds. When clouds are full, we get precipitation. Precipitation is a big word, I know, but that means rain, sleet, or snow. Water fills rivers, lakes, and oceans once again. The earth recycles water over and over again. Good on you, Mama Earth. Earth recycles, how about you? Shuffle kerplunk, shuffle kerplunk. I pick up trash along the river and around the park. I help keep turtles safe. They can get stuck in plastic soda holders and die. I rest on the bench made of recycled plastic like the bottles I collect. I will take the plastic and aluminum to the recycling plant. I even recycle my clothes too. When I grow too big for my shirt, I use it as a rag to wash my bike. I recycle, how about you? Well, thank you today for uh, joining us with our Nature Recycles How About You. Don't forget all the R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, rethink, and repurpose. So many ways we can help the planet and our animals. Thank you. See you next time.